Welcome, friends, to our time of devotional reflection for November the 29th. It's Tuesday, November the 29th, just about at the end of November. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This is coming to you from my office there. And we're reading uh, devotionals from Oswald Chambers, My Utmost for His Highest. Today's reading is entitled, The Absoluteness of Jesus Christ. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. Christ's words, John chapter 16, verse 14. The pietistic movements of today have none of the rugged reality of the New Testament about them. There is nothing about them that needs the death of Jesus Christ. And let me say that again. There is nothing about them that needs the death of Jesus Christ. All that is required is a pious atmosphere and prayer and devotion. This type of experience is not supernatural nor miraculous. It does not cost the passion of God. It is not dyed in the blood of the Lamb, not stamped with the hallmark of the Holy Spirit. It has not that mark on it which makes people say as they look with awe and wonder, that, that is the work of God Almighty. That and nothing else is what the New Testament talks about. The type of Christian experience in the New Testament is that of a personal, passionate devotion to the person of Jesus Christ. Every other type of Christian experience, so-called, is detached from the person of Jesus. There is no regeneration, no being born again into the kingdom in which Christ lives, but only the idea that he is our pattern. In the New Testament, Christ, Jesus Christ is Savior long, long before he is pattern. Today he is being dispatched as the figurehead of a religion, a mere example. He is that, but he is infinitely more. He is salvation itself. He is the gospel of God. Jesus said, when he, the spirit of truth, comes to you, he shall glorify me. When I commit myself to the revelation made in the New Testament, I receive from God the gift of the Holy Spirit, who begins to interpret to me what Jesus did and does in me subjectively what Jesus Christ did for me objectively. Father God, help us to understand what it is to receive your Son as the full gospel in himself, to, to know and understand what he did for us objectively, which was to take our sin from us, place it on himself, feel the pain and anger and anguish of that, be crucified for those sins on the cross, even though he himself was utterly blameless, to make that atonement so that we could be made acceptable to you, Father, so that we could receive forgiveness and reconciliation and redemption. Teach us this. Drive this deep into our hearts and souls so that we can subjectively experience everything that the Holy Spirit has for us in relation to the atonement of Christ that physically happened on the cross. To your glory, we pray, Almighty Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. As always, friends, I thank you for coming and spending some time in devotional listening. Now spend some time in devotional reflection on these ideas. And until we are able to be together again, which will be tomorrow, for another devotional time, I bid you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.